Hello everyone, Vegas Fake One Nine Six Five. Uh, this quick video that we're going to be doing today, I'm with uh, Can uh, Roadkill Pancake, a, a guy that I actually work with, who's now joined the uh, Adults Craft. He's, this is his second season. We are going to be doing strictly breeding today. We are only looking at breeding, not moving. It's only the mechanics of breeding. So I hope this helps you in Minecraft world. And without further ado, let's find out. The best villagers probably to use are going to be unemployed villagers. I know people use those villagers to breed with that already have jobs, but if you can see the clock there, it says 1333, that's basically 130. This is the work day for villagers that have jobs and they will not breed. But unemployed villagers can breed throughout the day. So you might get lucky and get a few extra villagers that you would not normally have gotten if you used villagers that have jobs. I always use or try my best to use villagers that only that are only unemployed. That makes my job so much easier. And it looks like mass chaos, but again, this is only a video on just the breeding mechanics themselves. Now above the beds, the babies must have two blocks of airspace. As you can see, we have the bed on the ground, and then we have two blocks that you can count, I guess, the, the glass blocks to show there's two blocks of airspace. That's the bare minimum. If you do not have that, if you've got a slab there, or it's obstructed and they can't get to it, then, then that will not work. You will get angry particles. So if you've had that happen to you, that's the reason. The game will look to see if there's two blocks of airspace above the bed, and that's so the babies can jump on the bed. If you don't have that, again, you'll get angry particles and they will not breed. Now the, the food I like to use is bread because it only takes three, bed, three bread each. So if you have, for example, a breeding pair of two villagers and you set down three, bread, three beds and then give each of those villagers three bread, they will breed during the correct times of the day they will breed to give you another villager. And that's for the Java side of things. The Java side of things, it, it will depend on the number of beds just like it does on bedrock. But if you block these guys off here, just like, when you, just like that, then those villagers you see inside here on Java will not be counted towards the total. The, the, game, uh, the game will then look and see that you have, like we have 24 beds here. And then these villagers, will then breed to meet the number of beds that you have there. They again will not be counted. Now if I open this up, then they will be counted. Now that doesn't work that way for the bedrock side. For the bedrock side, these guys can be blocked off in here and they can still claim a bed out over there so it'll count towards the total. So it's a little bit different for the bedrock side. Well, that's about going to wrap it up for me and Ken on the Adults Craft server on breeding. Just a short, quick video to help you in your Minecraft world if you're having trouble with breeding or just want to learn the basic mechanics or something that's a little bit easier. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you want to subscribe for past or future videos, click that subscribe button. It really helps me and lets me know I have great quality content for you guys each and every week. So until next week's video, thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye.